Yo, what's up? What's up? Y'all still on season one of One on One with Bunny McBuckets. I got my homeboy, Christian Rashad. Good deal, Yo, fucking just be putting fabrics together and making it look good as fuck, dog. That shit's so crazy, man. How you feeling today, bro? Bro, I'm good, bro. Man, I really good. appreciate you pulling up, man. Getting through that LA traffic to pull up on a nigga. <laughs> Come on, bro. It's an honor. It's an honor for sure we got to pull through for that. Man, when I want to tell y'all, this is like episode five or six so far. I done had some of the coldest people on already, you know what I'm saying? I had his brother on, Dope Cal, one of the dopest rappers in L.A. I asked this man who was in his top five. He said you was in his top five. What? Yes, I ain't mean, heard a track, nothing. I did, I've been heard when I first met you that you used to make music. That's crazy. I did hear that shit when, you, when I first met that you that you used to make crazy. music. That's crazy, he said that. Nah, he put you in the top five, and I'm like, yo, I need to hear tracks, bro. What? I need to hear tracks. Spit a 16 right now, He bro. said, spit a 16. <laughs> nah, bro, I left that. Oh, I let shit. him do that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? For sure, for sure. But yeah, I was, I was knee deep in it. He was knee deep in that yeah, rap game and shit. For sure, for sure. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. Yeah, I'll show you some stuff on the side. Though. Ooh, about to get some exclusive going on. <laughs> but you know, for those who don't know you, just tell us a little about about, about yourself. Where you from, bro? Uh, Christian Rashawn. I'm from the West Coast of California. What's just up? Straight up, you know what I'm saying? From the IE to LA, from the LA to back to the IE, all in between. You know what I mean? I've been living all through there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, I do clothes now. You gave my secrets. <laughs> I used to do music, you feel me? But uh, yeah, I'm on clothes. You feel me? And just, uh, yeah, just going off with that. And you've been killing it with the clothes too, man. I've been seeing people rocking your shit, man. Who's uh, who's some high profile people that you just sold some clothes to if you don't mind sharing that? Mm, uh, okay, my tops gotta be, uh, my tops gotta be Hit Boy, 21 Savage. Ooh, 20, 20. Uh, Mike and Keys, oh, uh, Mars, those, those are like some tops from fifteen hundred. Uh, who was my guy? Oh, shout out to my boy Hazel. Uh, he he's a uh, Grammy nominated. He's been always one of my favorite producers. Uh, yeah. He's How's it been? Uh, just. Feeling like I know you've been feeling like you've been moving up the ladder, man, because I've been seeing the progress that right. you've been going on. You know what I'm saying? I remember, shoot, man, when I when I first started uh, fucking with you and shit, like yeah. how the how the clothes was coming together yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. Like, now see. it's just a completely different level, bro. Yeah. Like it's yeah. crazy. Most I'm mad that I ain't went and got my little blanket <laughs> and got them bitches turned into some pants, bro. Cause right. that shit's crazy. Yeah. I need some like Lakers pants or something. Yeah, most definitely get that going. Yeah, shit is crazy, bro. It's a beautiful process, man. It's crazy how fast. Uh, it took off, uh, but I feel like I haven't taken off yet. Not yet? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I know I'm leveling up, but I haven't took off yet. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't think I'll ever feel like that. that that's good, though. You know what I'm <laughs> you know saying? What you don't want to get complacent with where you're at. You, know right. you always know there's another another step to get to. You know what I'm saying? Right. Another, another just group of people that don't know about you that's gonna be even crazier when they figure it out. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. that's dope, man. Like I like since I've been out here, man, just seeing the new people because I've been out here three years. So everybody I didn't know nobody out here. Yeah. So everybody I've I've met, known that I fuck with and shit, it's just been so dope to just watch their progression and just see right. how they just build it on top of building on top of building. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Shit is a beautiful thing, bro. It's really a beautiful story. So we started off at fucking some dope for the people. Right? Yeah. You know yeah, shout out to my boy Saint Pierre, you know what I'm saying, gave him my first pop. Up yeah, Jordan St. Pierre on the strip, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is crazy because that dude, man, that dude is incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, they look, give a uh, give a special shout out to him and Jeremy because they just produced uh, Wiz Khalifa's Jeremy Still Jer. Rolling Papers uh, documentary. Shout and shit, out to man. you, Jer. Yeah, man, they had the uh. The uh, premiere for that shit over at Los Globos. I know, I seen that, bro. Yeah, that was Wiz crazy. Wiz pulled up, the whole Taylor gang was in there, bro. Yeah, like, that was, was crazy. crazy. That looked crazy. Bro. I'm so proud of them, man. I didn't even know what I was pulling up to, honestly. <laughs> Jeremy sent me the pit, the like flyer for it, and he was yeah. just like, yeah, pull up if you can pull up. And I'm just glad I put on some clothes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was just finna come. I would've came like this, nigga, like right. straight up. I walk right. in, it's smoked out already. Like, it's niggas sweet. got on their Sunday best and shit. Like, I'm like, okay. Talking, okay. talking about building and leveling up, man. man. Jeremy, bro. Jeremy and them, it's, yeah, they building up, bro. Mm -hmm. That shit's elite, bro. I'm really proud of them, for real, for real, bro. Yeah, I told him, this Will Smith slaps all day, mm -hmm. man, if I ain't on the next project, straight up. 
Yeah. Oh, straight man. up. <laughs> y'all got the personalities, man, to be there. You know what I mean? Like y'all, y'all all do too. Though. Like that's what's so crazy about it. And I'll be having a like, cause I be, I be chill in the cut. Like you know what I'm saying? If you yeah. see me at these places, I'd much rather just chill against the wall, just vibe right. and shit like that, man. But right. like, out here, you gotta you gotta go talk to people and network right. and do all this shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, but you don't want to do it though, bro. Like, man, I don't even want to do that shit all the time. time. <laughs> I don't even want to do that shit all the time, man. Cause right. you know what I'm saying? I'm like. I'm kind of an introvert, but I'm extroverted as fuck. You know what I'm saying? When I'm like around new niggas and shit, like I'm not the same nigga you know right. once I get to know you. You know right. what I'm saying? It's right. like I'm goofy as fuck. But when you first meet me, you might not even think I like you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm just right. like, yeah, what up? You know? Yeah. It took me a second to get used to that in LA. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People think they don't like people think you don't like them if you're not over the top, super nice to them and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. That's weird. Fuck it. <laughs> nah, for real. For real though, cause like the way I am, shit, man. It's like if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Right. And I'd rather fuck with the same people now, ten years from now. You know what I'm saying? So, Straight up. Let me get a product. Same here, man. But shit, uh, how was it growing up on on the West Coast, man? Ah, uh, man, it was a. Uh, what was life growing up? Life was very filled with ventures, bro. All types of transitions. That's why. You know what I'm saying? That's why I came to the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? Because I went through a whole bunch of transitions to, to within the West Coast, you know what I mean? Uh, just uh, bouncing yeah, around. Too. Oh, yeah, my bad. But, yeah, just bouncing around a lot, you know what I mean? Uh, different schools, being around different crowds. You know, uh, when, at that time, I really didn't uh, like it too much. But I learned to appreciate it. Nah, I feel you. you know what I mean? When you get older, like just being around different crowds. Mm-hmm. You learn how to move and operate around any kind of people. Right, yeah. right. So that that's super dope. You know what I mean? I just take that as treasure. <laughs> that I wasn't a... What's the word I'm looking for? Sheltered? Sheltered. Yeah, get what you yeah. Sheltered. <laughs> I to experience different things. That's the thing for me, man. Like I went from, you know... Being the lightest nigga at the school to right. being the darkest nigga at the school. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So, same. like, I'd have been everywhere. You right. know what I'm saying? Shit. No. Man, I know growing up, I remember just watching TV shows and movies about niggas growing up in California, man. No coats. Yeah. No snow, the beach right there. But I'd have met niggas that live in the hood and never even been to the beach and shit. I'm right. just like, how that happened? Like, right, right. How that work out, nigga? You know, because now everybody's beach attire. <laughs> You can pull up with the white beard and jeans yeah, on, fucking you know just put I mean? your toes in the sand, bro. Yeah, nah. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, those are weirdos too, man. I gotta be close <laughs> to some water too. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's really crazy though. But I like uh, I like the fact that it snows. You know what I mean? On the other side of the coast. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? That, that shit is uh-huh. dope. Yeah, of course it's all gonna be like you know, vice versa. <laughs> Really don't like it. But I mean, it does snow kind of close to here. You know what I'm saying? Because like one yeah. of my favorite things about LA is you got beach, you got valley, you got mountains. You know right. what I'm saying? You got right. desert too. So right. it's like right. everything you could possibly need is super close. Yeah. Nah. Real shit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it snows like in only Victorville or whatnot, like one year, two years. <laughs> so <laughs> one year, two years. Yeah, now, but yeah, you go to Big Bear or whatnot, you feel me? Catch some snow. Which is super dope. But I mean, if you really want to like be in that real snow. I feel like you gotta go to the East Coast. Yeah, hey, I'm cool on that. <laughs> Shit, cause I went back to the Midwest, you know, I'm from, I'm from the Midwest, so right. I went back like around Christmas. Luckily, we caught it the first three days. I was only there for like six days. The first three, four days was yeah. no jacket weather. It was crazy, bro. Yeah. Like hoodie, pants, cool. It started getting cold. I was ready to go. Right, right. Like, Let's nah, I feel you on that. Uh, yeah, it's different. It's different. It's different. It makes you think different. I'll tell you that. Just <laughs> being that cold, like it's crazy. Oh but respects to the East Coast, man. That's where I got my uh, all my fashion views from. You know what I mean? Like to the East Coast, keep it real. I was on the West, but I was looking at the East though for the fashion and all that stuff. Like they always stay on top. So what? Uh, what's what's a big inspiration for you? Would you say just East Coast vibe? Like, uh, or do you have like a certain designer that you kind of like? Music to keep it real, just uh, the nineties. 90s, like, yeah, just 90s. Uh, it's like, 90s. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, it's just <laughs> big baggy shit. Like, yeah, you know yeah, like that, yeah. You know? Real talk, you know what I mean? Just real free, more free. You know what I mean? It, it was incredible times. Just that, uh, music wise, the culture, fashion. 
Yeah, it was crazy. I really picked it up, bro. Uh, to keep it all the way true, crump days, crump fucking days. Like, yeah, that shit, yeah. the crump shit. Yeah, see, look, that's some East Coast shit. Nah, it's some West Coast shit. But that's where I really started like making clothes uh, to keep it real. You yeah, feel yeah. me? Like hands on. Uh, See, I really couldn't dance like that though. But all the <laughs> homies could, you feel me? Shout out to my niggas Price Juju. I used to be in this uh, little dance crew, but I couldn't I couldn't get off though, but I was in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> said, I, I was in it. Uh, I was part of the movement, I just wasn't moving. Right, right. Juice crew. You feel me? We had that back in back in school, uh Yeah. But I used to look the flies. You feel me? I used to make all the crumb clothes and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Like that's when I started airbrushing it. You know what I mean? In the backyards and messing with shoes and yeah, that's where I got it from. That's why I really picked. So it. you pull up to the to the dance battle and shit, and looking the freshest yeah. nigga in there. They be like, oh, I can't wait till that nigga hit us with some footwork and shit. Yeah, yeah. Not knowing you just there to post up and right. shit. Right, I want to post up, but right? you're not about to see nothing. <laughs> and Criddle, come here. That's but uh, yeah, bro, that's fucking nuts, man. So yeah. so what else other than so crump? East Coast flavor. I need yeah. you to just hang out in here, just make sure everything yeah. good. But uh, shout out Criddle. Helping out behind the cameras and shit That's like that. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? This is still a ghetto production. Right. But I love every bit of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. But uh, yeah, you can pull up a chair or something if you want. But um, damn, yeah, man, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. So did you like, did you venture out east at all, like when you were growing up? Uh, nah. Or was it just you was admiring from afar? I actually didn't start going to the east uh, until like five years ago. Nah, longer than that. Like eight years ago when my mom got married and she moved out to, the, to New York. Mom's in New York now? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's far. Yeah, yeah, she lives in Yonkers, New York. <laughs> Yonkers. Yeah, yeah, it's super dope out there, man. That's when I uh, took my first trip out there when she was out there. And I knew it was exactly how it was when I when I thought about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, New York yeah, was what you envisioned yeah, it to be? Yeah, exactly. You feel me? Like, everything is exactly what I expected. It was super dope. You know what I mean? Like, everything, everybody, the way they dress, the way they talk, the way they move, bro, it was like super dope. So that was very inspirational. Came back, made a killing on the clothes. You know what I'm saying? Like I took all that inspiration, bro, just drew it all into my clothes, bro. That shit was crazy. I right, man, that was an incredible time too. When uh yeah. My first time going to New York. Mm. That that did it. He's like, that just cemented it. I mean, this is what I'm about to do. Right. And I'm going to go hard with it. <laughs> New York is way different with the fashion, bro. You can do whatever out there, man. There's so many, like, I feel like New York, L.A., yeah. Chicago, yeah. Atlanta. Atlanta got, yeah, Atlanta yeah. got a wave, too, like, for yeah, sure. They for just sure. got, like, this is unique cities that just, like, you can go to different cor- corners of the city and just right. be a whole different vibe. Like, right, right, different. right, 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 yeah. right. See, I haven't even hit Atlanta yet, too, though, but I know they got the vibes out there. Yeah, it's dope. It's dope. I, I lived there for a little second, for a hot mm-hmm. second. Yeah. I was too young to really even do that, though. Like, I was there, like, three months my freshman year in high school. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. shit. But, yeah, man. Atlanta is a vibe. Yeah, most definitely. Atlanta is crazy, man. I bet. So, I if bet. you could, if, like, what, what city would you want to live in, like, if you had to choose to, like, just, to just, like, lock in, maybe get like a spot there, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a store that you could sell your merch out of and shit, like what, what city would you want to keep it real, man, I would just have like one store out in New York, uh, and I would, I wouldn't live anywhere else but California to keep it real, but I'll, I'll travel for sure, mm. you know what I mean, right, yeah. I would want to go to Tokyo, Japan, Tokyo, Japan, bro, that's like, that's that's a that's a real a fashion epicenter too, man. And Tokyo fucks with niggas like right. They fuck with uh, niggas, I would like. I would think I would think. <laughs> you said I would think. Yeah. Would think hell yeah. But no, like that's a place I would want to go. I heard they really not fucking with no weed out there though. Like, Word. If you smoke some weed in Japan, jail. What? Jail. Like, All right. Oh no, then. They gonna have to uh, loosen up before I get out there, then. Well, I'd be thinking, like, what if a nigga like Snoop? I know, has Snoop been in Japan? Like, right. you can't tell Snoop he's not smoking somewhere. Yeah, they like, probably don't stay long, man. Yeah, they just <laughs> they get out <laughs> No, for real, though, because it's like, damn, if I can't get high and enjoy the... That's how I am. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I need weed to enjoy it, but it would just be nice. Right, because that's what we used to. Like, you know what I'm saying? To right. enjoy a nice little joint and then... And and viewing. Right. <laughs> Especially in a place you ain't never been to, man. You just want to be in that bitch like, hey. I mean, shit crazy. Right. Tokyo drifting and shit. Right. Straight up. 
I feel like I would have to run into somebody that got like a little little drifting car. Like, oh yeah, most you definitely. think there's a little bow wow out there? Like, <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, bow wow out there. Uh, gotta be. You gotta be. Damn, most definitely, you gotta be a bow wow out there for sure. Dang. So, uh, who would be like? So top five, you could think of it right now. I know it's putting on the spot whenever I ask somebody for their top five. But yeah. like top five designers mm. for Christian Rashawn. Top five designers. Of course, I got to put Virgil up there. Rest in peace, Virgil. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace All for white. sure. All white. Uh, Moon Man. Y'all know who Moon Man is. You got to look him up. He, he's crazy. Y'all look up Moon Man. Uh, Dapper Dan. Curtis Dapper Dan, yeah, can't go wrong with that one. Uh, and then it can even be like people's style too, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. certain person style, shit like that. Val Christopher. He's Val out of the UK. UK. Asian cat. Crazy. Crazy. He's crazy. Val Christopher. I gotta put him in there. That's four. And then, uh, Five. I would have to give it to uh, myself. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that, bro. Cause it, yeah. it, cause in any game, bro, you gotta have a level of confidence. It's just like yo, I'm the shit. Right. I'm right. the next thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Motherfuckers don't see it now, but you better hop on this wave Straight before up. shit costs too much. Straight you up. know what I'm saying? Straight <laughs> Straight <up. It's> <laughs> Please don't be selling no like homeless clothes and shit sure. like Kanye <laughs> though. My man's took a regular Hanes shirt, put some holes in it, and sold his motherfucking uh, Hey, man, somebody see the beauty in it, I guess. Uh, you have to copy it, but see the beauty in it. <laughs> for real, for real. Beauty's in the eye of the world. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah, so, like, let me just take it back to the, when did you stop rapping? When did you, when did you uh, put the music down? When did you say, you know what, man, I gotta, I gotta do some other shit? Uh, I'll say 2000, uh, like 2000. 2012. 2012, 2013. What was like? What was it? What was your style? Like, if you had to be on a playlist, Ooh. like who who would be the other artist that's on the playlist with oh, you? Oh man, I have too many styles. Bro. For real? Yeah, I have way too many. Bro. My man's a chameleon out here. Put out any track uh, on it. Oh man, if we go there, yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. If I show you some shit, bro, it'll be just it'll be too many. I fuck with that though, man, because it's like, man, you got too many people that just sound the same out here. Yeah, you know straight man? up. And now, 50,000 people on Spotify doing the same shit. I woke up with that on my head every day when I was rapping, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could not be like none of these things, bro. That's good, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, I take all that same energy and put it into my clothes, though. You feel me? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I not be like none of these I seen you work, man. Yeah. I seen you on that solo machine once or twice, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The, mm -hmm. the, the, the the intense look of like just he's just in that bitch like yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Crazy, yeah. I'm just like fucking just zoned in I'm about bro. to say that's my zone bro that's my man that's my escape right there being on the machine same way when I was doing music my mic was my escape you know what I mean shit was crazy it just proved to me like man I could do anything mm. you know what I'm saying just put that same energy to it right. you know what I mean that's I just proved it right there to myself. Fire. And how is uh how has fatherhood changed you at all, man? How is what, what's being a father like out here now? What? Ultimate change, bro. Like this yeah. shit is uh it's really dope. It's really kicking my ass at the same time. It's really dope though. Oh, yeah. It's really uh it's a force change. You know what I mean? Force mm -hmm. change if you're gonna if you want to stay around. <laughs> you know he said, if you plan on staying around, yeah, you might like want to Straight yeah. up, you know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing, though. You know what I mean? I can't even imagine myself not without kids now. It's right. crazy. You know what I mean? It just gave me that extra push, though, and that uh, that reassurance on what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, uh, now I just got to leave them with something. Right. You know what I mean? So, it's super dope. They're like little mirrors. All right, you already see them doing a little shit yeah, you be doing? Yeah, it's super crazy, you know what I mean? Uh, I got one daughter, one son, you know what I mean? Josiah, shout out to Nayala. It's crazy, my babies. Yeah, they gave me that extra push for sure, for sure, man. And, uh, 
that reassurance push. That's all it is. You feel me? But it's a beautiful thing, though, man. It's a beautiful thing. It's very uh. Dang, I can't even right, bro. I feel you like you just like, like man, yeah. It's a stressful, beautiful, happy thing, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, isn't it just crazy just looking at something and be like, yo, man, we my pullout game was weak, <laughs> and you popped out. Like, ain't that some shit, bro? That you turned from some sperm to a whole little bro, now, you, now. I'm changing diapers. That's. Crazy, you was a bro. bean, and now you like ten pounds. Like it's fucking crazy. It's crazy. Like, bro. Just sit here and think about it. On my way here, bro, I was just on the streets. Like, damn, there's so many people in Los Angeles, bro. That's just like so many people who had a moment. <laughs> right. <laughs> so many people that just like. You know what I mean? What's up with? Can't get, I can't get this in. You gotta turn it around. This goes in first. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Life is very beautiful. See, my kids got me thinking about stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Damn, life. Man, that's, that's crazy, man. I know life. it's a completely different thing, and it gives you so much more to work for. Like, you know what I'm Yeah, saying? most definitely. Because I know I'm thinking, I know my dad done hit me up. Like, nigga, when we finna... Yeah. I'm gonna have a grand, because I'm my only child, so it's like, man, if I don't have yeah. a kid, man, shit, like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <That's it>. uh, <laughs> right, like, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I have a thousand cousins. So there's herds out there all right. over the place. Right. It's like, man, just from my father and shit like that, man. Right. And that is crazy because, like, I noticed I'm doing shit that I've seen my dad do, like, as far as, like, little new, like, how I hold my father. I remember he used to be like this all the time when he get mad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, I do that shit sometimes. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, You're like true. a mirror. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's yeah. super crazy, bro. You really trip out looking at kids, man. Looking at your kids for sure. Yeah. Evolution. Evolution is dope. Man, dog, ain't that crazy? Yeah, like ain't that crazy? Life is dope. Man, we can get high and just talk about all kinds of random ass shit, yeah. man, because life don't make no goddamn yeah. sense. <laughs> it never will. It don't make no goddamn you know sense saying? how all this shit is happening, bro. Like, we're not supposed it. to figure it out. That's how I feel. Yeah, and then we're here for a short amount of time. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you really think about it, man, if we're lucky enough to be here 85 years, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just a blip. Yeah. That's just a like, blip. I feel like I've been here for a long time. You've been here before? <laughs> Reincarnated? Yeah. Like, nigga been here. I, I like that feeling better than yeah. just like you just here for a second as you and then you just die and that's it. Right, like, you right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Fuck, it's, man. Let me come not, back, but I don't want to come back as like a fucking like animal or something, man. Like, you don't? Hell no. Nah, nah. nah, cause they life is just stress all day. <laughs> like it's stress. Like, you know, I gotta eat, or I'm about to get eaten, what's up? Like what it's all day just being out there in the wild. What would you what would you choose to be? A fucking like house cat in a rich ass person's house that okay, don't fuck okay. with me. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Okay, like okay. that's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like anything other than that is just bro, you out there in the wild. Like I was about to say you would be a plant. Depends on where I'm at, nigga. Am I in like a botanical garden, nigga? Am I in like a fucking, am I a cacti in the desert just out there by myself, just hot? Like. Yo, cause that's crazy though, cause plants is life too. Yeah. And yeah. So, somebody gotta take care of you or you just gonna just dry out. My sunflowers? Am I a weed? Yeah. Like. Yeah, you gotta be outside. Damn. That's crazy, bro. That's so much to think about. I'd rather just come back as another fly ass black nigga. That's it. Why? Yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah. Black. Yeah. Make me a little darker next time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Let me. Let me <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Let me get a little air. Nah, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, with shit. That. Ain't nothing wrong with being a butter pecan half a recan. You know what I'm saying? Right. But we right. out here. We out here. Arr. And what's so, uh, what you got coming up next, man? What you working on? What's the next uh, step? Uh, man, right now, uh, I'm working on some summertime stuff. You know what I'm saying? I won't say too much, but I got some crazy stuff coming for the summer, though. Summertime cozies? Yeah. Uh, Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. How would they look as shorts? I don't know. They're gonna be, they're gonna be super dope now that you just gave it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, you could have played it off. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I guess we'll see. Yeah, I wasn't that slick, but I'm not good at holding water too much. <laughs> Speaking of water, y'all. Yeah. What the fuck, my water at? Yeah. Drink y'all some water, man. Hydrate, bro. Cause without this, we wouldn't even be here, bro. We wouldn't That's even it. be here. Nothing that you try like to do 95 exists. Ninety-five percent of water. You feel me? That's what we're made of. Ah, and I was thirsty too. Like you know, you hit that water and you can just feel that water just lubricating all your insides on the right. way down. Right. Crazy. That's light. crazy. Light. Natural. Damn, bro. 
Yeah. That's, well, that's, so that's nuts, man. You got the you got the crazy clothing brand. Yeah. Out here killing it in the fatherhood section. Right. Right. Whipping around LA, just all over the place, you know, <laughs> uh, shaking hands with some motherfuckers yeah. that got shit going on. Right, right, shit is dope. Yeah, <laughs> um, dope people, man. Man, so what, what, uh, what would be an end goal for you? Like, where can you see? What do you see yourself at in ten years? Oh, well, just chilling. Just chilling. Chilling. Just being able to like, you built your business up to the point where it's just like you can just relax and you can let other people take control, and you, but you still like. Oh, you still gonna be up under the sewing machine, or you still gonna be like? Oh yeah, if I, you feel me? If I'm feeling it for sure, mm. you know what I'm saying? That's always gonna be in the house somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like straight up. But I'm just, yeah. For the most, I just wanna chill and just go see some stuff, man. Yeah. See some stuff that I've never seen before. You know what I mean? And uh, and stuff like that. Go do some stuff I've never done before. You know what I'm saying? With my family. Exactly. Just straight up. You uh, you been out the country yet? Nah, I'm um, actually uh. Supposed to get my passport like within a month type shit. <laughs> I got to, bro. Got to, cause uh, I really don't have uh any uh U.S. state bucket list type thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, you know what I mean? I'm not really a nature person, so I can give less than a fuck about the Grand Canyon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm not really, but you know, I gotta go see it still. You feel me? I still, I still haven't seen the Grand Canyon. <laughs> it's a deep hole in the ground. I mean, like, how long would I want to look at it? Like, right, right. Up, hey, pull up, man. We might as well look at Grand right, Canyon right, right there. And I'm just looking, like. All right, that was dope, man. Let's get up out of here. Shit. Like, right, what right. are there to do? Can you, like, zip line across that motherfucker or something? Can you? I don't know. Damn. That would be crazy. That would be some fun shit if you can, like, zip line through the canyon or That's some crazy. shit. Like that. I'm, yeah, I'm about to be zip lining in a minute. I'm going to Catalina Island. Ooh. That's that's shit. You can see that from uh, like Santa Monica Beach and shit. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, they do zip lining or something over there. I never zip lined before. You can like jet ski out there. You can jet ski from uh. Oh, uh, real? Yeah, you can jet ski from um. Oh, Long Beach, right? Yeah, somewhere over there. Yeah, Long yeah. Beach or fucking I can't remember the name of the other place, but um. Yeah, you can jet ski over to Catalina mm-hmm. Islands and then over. I don't even think they have cars out there. Like you just get like a fucking like boat, little, little golf jet-ski? cart or something like. Yeah, that's crazy. Just be around that bitch, just kicking it. I ain't been, that's kind of on them, but that would be cool to go. Like, since it's right yeah. here and shit, like, you hear about it all the time. Right. So. Yeah, I'm about to go over there. My girl's adventurous, bro. She be putting us on the. Man, that's the road. same for me, too, man. <laughs> they just be wanting to do shit. Huh? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> be like, hey, man, let's go check out this. Let's go eat this and this. I'm right. like, all right, cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All right, I got to get tired of doing shit like that, though. You know, the spontaneous stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because me, I just like to work. <laughs> just like to just chill, yeah. you feel me? But you know, you get that feeling when you're not working that you're missing out on shit. Cause I know, like, when I feel like I go back to the Midwest or I'm somewhere else, I feel like I'm missing out on shit in LA. I just feel like I'm not a step ahead of like, myself. Or you feel like somebody else is working right now. You be like, yo, this nigga's working right now, man. Right. I'm over here fucking with an umbrella in my yeah. drink and shit. Just but at the same it. time, I remind myself like it, I'm not looking at. It anybody else I'm not racing against anybody else but at the same time like I love working mm-hmm. but at the same time you need to go see some stuff to bring back to the workspace inspiration you need that new inspiration all that, like that you know what I mean Crazy. all that just going to be you know just going outside you know what I mean just, just be outside yeah yeah, yeah cuz I mean shit changes for you when you just be outside like that's uh, right. so much shit has happened for me just being outside right right it's like I could chill in the crib like I'm kind of a homebody person, but just like being out, just meeting people, especially having a camera with you is a fucking cheat code. Right. Everybody, everybody wants Straight pictures. Up. Everybody wants content. Like you know Straight what I'm saying. Up. So that's such a good way to, that's such a good way to just uh, meet people, man. Right. Because like I said, when I first got here, I wasn't that good at meeting people. Right. <laughs> like, I wasn't that good at meeting people, man. Because it's like. I fuck with who I fuck with, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And then, like, how I am when you first meet me is always a problem, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I've, uh, I've seen a dude named Daylight. Uh, have you heard of him? Daylight. Oh, yeah, Daylight. Rapper, got, like, the fucking on shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said one thing that he did that worked for him and shit hit LB. One thing that he did that worked for him was one, one simple thing. Mm-hmm. Taking his eyebrows from here to here. Mm-hmm. Just keep your eyebrows up higher. You look Damn. more approachable. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, I mean... You know what? Somebody else told me that too. That's crazy that you said that. That is. Yeah, it's just being more approachable and changing. shit like that. I like, did it right now. My life just changed right now. Really? <laughs> He's like, hey. That's <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yep. 
That boy, man, he knows a lot, bro. He's, he's a smart. Man. He's a smart. He might look crazy to everybody else or whatnot, but he's smart as shit, though, man. Yeah. He's super smart. Yeah, I watched man. this DJ Vlad interview. Like, I don't know too much about him. Like, yeah. but he did. He did say one thing on there that I will, I'm gonna hold on to for a minute, yo, yeah. because I've been waiting for somebody to, to confirm this shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause like when I was like 18 or whatever, I played on R. Kelly's uh, men's league team for like three three games. Yeah. And that nigga don't want nobody else to shoot the ball, but him. Like that nigga kicked me off the team because I'm the point guard. Nigga. I'm not finna give you the fucking ball every right. time down the court and shit. But daylight right. was like, yo, I played him. He had four niggas on his team that didn't do nothing but pass him the ball. Well, he shot. He said Aura. I call him Aura. 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 <laughs> Aura shot every time down the court, bro. And I've been telling this story for a minute, and that I don't think crazy. it's not like people believe, but it's just hard to like be like, yo. First of all, he was on a men's league team with right. Mark Kelly, like, nah, like yeah, bro, like. That's crazy. Yeah, that shit was. It was crazy nice, story. Yeah, that shit was nice. He is top five most scumbag motherfucker I've ever met. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Arma? Oh yeah, Arma. Oh, he's horrible. Oh, he's horrible. Oh, damn. Horrible person. But he makes some amazing music. Word. It'd be hard for him to like. Who can you put up uh, versus R. Kelly in a versus? You know what? In this situation, man, I don't know who. Right. He has so <laughs> much music, like including everything that he wrote for people. Like, you know what yeah, I'm most definitely. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I can't right. put nobody in the verses with him because I don't know how they would feel doing the verses with him. All right, if it was like, all right, let's just say R. <laughs> Kelly without all the, yeah, you know, yeah, all the bu- yeah. yeah, all the bullshit. Uh, we just put R. Kelly like, cause my man's been he been going since ninety what three? Yeah. You know, what I'm saying? he's been in the game for a long time. He got the fucking um, damn, what's that remix to Ignition? Who the fuck got a remix to Ignition? Like, damn, nah, I don't know. Can't name no one person. See, that's what I'm saying, man. He's legitimate on the music side. He but paved everything. his own way. Yeah. For real. You know what I mean? He did his own thing. Damn. Did his own space jam. That's all I, I believe I can fly. <laughs> space jam. Woo! I watch that shit every damn day. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about the other, the second space jam? Nah. <laughs> nah. Man, nah, even, nah. Not, you know what I'm saying? Not even knocking LeBron or none of that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, Sequels, man, it. there's not. It's it rare it. that there's a good sequel. You know what I'm saying? Especially when they take so long. Right. Yeah, you can't read. You couldn't do that. You couldn't do that. Not Space Jam, bro. They they should have left it alone. Yeah. They should have left it alone. You know they can't leave it alone. And they really tried to make LeBron act too. Like that's the thing. I'm like, yo, man, this man over here fake crying and shit. That shit was crazy. <laughs> I was so mad. I it was crazy. Myself. Don't worry about it. It's all good though. Hey, but check me out though, man. Look in the camera and tell everybody where they can find you at, bro. Oh, you can find me on Instagram, uh, Christian Rashawn, Christian R A S H A W N. Tell, tap in, man. Go ahead and get them uh, custom orders and shit, man. Shout out to my boy, man. He's fucking crazy. All right, you boy. Yeah, yeah, man. I appreciate you pulling up the one-on-one with Bunny McBuckets. Bro. Still on season one, man, and this season is fucking crazy, bro. But we finna get up out of here. Everybody be safe. Drink some motherfucking water, right? Follow my nigga over here. Holla at me. Skip the game!